Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Misty Moss. I am a boudoir photographer, self-portrait artist, and burlesque performer, all things self-love and self-celebration. And today we are doing a video that I'm really excited about. I have been wanting to do this video for a while and I finally pitched it to my Patreon subscribers and I said, hey, I want you to submit to me any photos that you want me to critique um, and to give you constructive feedback on. And people gave me their photos and I am so excited to go through them. I love my Patreon subscribers. Y'all are the best. If you're not on my Patreon channel already, I will leave a link down below in the description. It's just full of editing tutorials, tips, tricks, behind the scenes, selfie tips, and lots of fun, juicy stuff. And there's a big archive of content. So it's really great. <laughs> But I digress. We are going to dive into this video. Let's go. Okay, let's get started. So I have opened just an absolutely stunning image. Some of these were so hard to critique. I was like, how? dare you make such beautiful art and ask me to critique it. This is stunning. Oh, stunning. Yeah. I don't have a lot to say about this image aside from the fact that I'm literally obsessed with it. Um, my first impression of this is your triangles are absolutely stunning. So one of the biggest things I teach people when I'm posing is that triangles are key. You really want to be looking out for triangles when you're posing to create like amazing, incredible shapes and just like triangle, triangle, triangle. Oh, I can't even. They're so good. Um, my only tip with this one, and this is like entirely stylistic, is you maybe boosting the shadows a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the detail. But I also do enjoy how this is more of like really bodyscape and it's just highlighting um, her arm and her leg in such a dramatic way. Another, again, like really small tip is if her chin was just like slightly lifted a little bit more to the sky, you wouldn't have got as much heavy shadow kind of here and you could have got a little bit more shadow like on her chin, on her lips, on her cheekbones, and that could have brought a little bit more softness to the face. But again, we are like just micro picking here like this is stunning so amazing job thank you so much for submitting this i am obsessed with it you did such a good job uh <laughs> that's it that, that's my critique is good job <laughs> Um, another one from the same photographer that I'm equally as obsessed with I had to censor this one for the YouTube gods because heaven forbid we have nipples and heaven forbid we show them on the internet um <gasps> I could talk about that for hours. I'm going to try not to. Contain your rage, Misty. <laughs> nipples are just nipples, friends. Um, again, this photo is absolutely beautiful. I really love your use of the dark background just to make your subject really pop. The amount of light coming in is really nice. Um, you're getting a really nice chiaroscuro effect, which I'm really obsessed with. Again, we're micro picking. I would have maybe switched the arms because this arm is blocking a lot of the light that's coming in and blocking a lot of the light that could be hitting the tummy and the ribs um, and just highlighting a little bit more to give more of like a sculpted kind of look and a really like painterly kind of vibe. Um, I feel like that would have made a really nice kind of change as if this arm had been the one leaning and then maybe this hand had been like touching the collarbone that could have given like a really nice soft painterly vibe. But I still love this pose. I feel like it's really soft and gentle and it tells a really nice story of just like being relaxed, chilling on a stool in a dark room as we all do, <laughs> you know, just girly things. Um, and then maybe I would have moved the subject's chin to face the window to again, just get more side light and kind of paint that way to bring um, more light to the subject. But again, stylistic things, like I love how anonymous this is and I love how it's giving this kind of like mystery when her face is turned. So just options, just little things to consider for like more variations in different poses without having to move your subject a lot. 
I'm a big fan of work smarter, not harder. So getting the most out of a pose and getting the most of variations without having your client have to do a hell of a lot and tire themselves out. Um, but again, like absolutely stunning work. Where are you located? Can I fly to you? Please shoot me. This is stunning. Um, and again, thank you so much for sending in all the photos, everybody. I am so honored. Um, okay, on to the next one. This one I also really love. I, I'm i also a big fan of like just dousing people in compliments. So I'm just gonna give you all of my love first and then we're gonna pepper in little like suggestions um, because this is really stunning. You did a really good job of creating like really nice depth of field, shooting over the shoulder to create kind of like this foreground, loving that. Um, my first thing I think is there could be a little bit more softness to the image by maybe having the robe have like come over the shoulder. I love like a little over the shoulder moment. So if the model had been holding it kind of like over and then holding like this, that could have been a really cute chance to bring in like a little bit of softness. Um, I'm also a simp for the select subject tool to make your subject really pop from the background because I love the direct eye contact and I love what that's saying um, and I love what that's giving to the image but the this wall is white this wall is white so it's kind of there's a lot going on that's competing for your attention with the model and the subject so I would go select subject and let AI do the work it's thinking about it it's not gonna do it it's just thinking about it is it gonna do it yeah, okay, it did it really poorly. So we'll just have to do some brushing, but I would have done this and then throw in like a little curve tool and then just command I to invert the selection. And then I would just bring everything that's not your client down. Yeah. And then this is obviously really messy and if you were gonna return this to a client, you would go in and you would do this way better. Um, but already you're just drawing the attention to them a little bit more and really just like, making them pop and then I would might even like go in and then just dodge and burn a little bit this these are all of my actions you guys are learning way too much about me everything is really messy <laughs> just wait I have one um pulled up later for you where I go in and I edit it um in with my presets and you're gonna learn way too much about me way too much about me um so I would go in with dodge and burn and just even bring more lightness to your subject. Like we really want them to be what pops, right? Like they're the subject. They're what you want to be the most center focal point of the image. So I'm just going in and I'm using the dodge tool to really, and this is again, really messy. I would be way more careful with this if I was returning this to a client, but just to kind of give you like a general sense of how much of a difference this can make to your image. And if again, if her shoulders, had been out, or I shouldn't assume pronouns, they, just to be safe, if they were out, like, that would bring even more light to falling on the collarbones and more um, things you could paint. Again, very messy, um, but I'm just gonna merge all these together. You can kind of see like the before and after. So this is the after and this is the before. So really now your subject is really popping out of the image and all of the attention is being drawn to them. And they just look like they're just like this beautifully illuminated ah, figure in the middle of the image. Um, so really playing around with more selective kind of tools and masking, I think can really change an overall image, but otherwise like stunning work, the eye contact is absolutely Absolutely beautiful the softness of the hands is just incredible the lighting coming in from the side and just like hitting their cheekbone just kiss like absolutely beautiful okay I chose probably way too many photos to critique but I got so excited I was like look at all the images people submitted to me um, because I just love you guys so much and I got way too stoked um, okay again love this image i love the foreground this is really telling me that you probably had to like kneel really hilariously on the bed to get this shot which i love we love the commitment to the bit i love like the looking back over the butt i love a little bit of like curve we got going on with a little hip pop really beautiful my first critique here would be just like again like i i love creating mood and really eliminating any distractions and just letting the subject be the absolute center of attention. So I immediately am like, goodbye. 
goodbye bar, we don't need you. I'm just selecting it and we're gonna go content aware fill and we're gonna hope that AI does its job. Sometimes it doesn't do its job. Sometimes it does its job better than I could do its job. So I like to see if it does its job better than I could do it. Stunning, a little bit messy. But again, if this was a client facing image, I would go in and I'd retouch it. But I'm just here to kind of show you um, just quick things to kind of how you can elevate an image. This is sloppy. This is very sloppy. So again, if I was returning this, I would go in and I would definitely clean that up. So please ignore the fact that this is very sloppy um, because I just want to show you like the difference that that makes. Like this is before and this is after. Just eliminating that one little distraction. Now your subject is shining. They are the attention. Like they are everything. Like your eyes is directly drawn to them and there's all this negative space that's just really beautiful. My other quick critique of this would just be not to lose hands. I think that's something that's really common, especially in boudoir photography, where we're doing a lot of like arching and reaching and creating a lot of unique lines that aren't in a lot of other kinds of photography is limbs can get cut off really easily. Um, and especially hands and fingers. And it kind of just like cuts off the image really abruptly. Um, so for hands, I love to incorporate them into the image and tell a story with hands. So I'm always looking for ways to just like pay attention to where the hands are and how I can use them to tell more of a story and to put more emotion into the image. So for this, instead of having the client like reaching so far behind the curtain, um, you could have had the client like holding the curtain and having their elbows down and like kind of closer to them. So that way their hands are still in the image and they have this like really gentle, soft emotion that they're kind of pulling in and bringing into the photo. Um, so that's kind of like the two things off the top of my head that I'm really kind of seeing. But like style wise, I love how you backlit them. I love the little like detail of the balcony. Like, can my balcony look that nice? It's so pretty. I love what you did with the foreground. I love the looking back at their butt. Like I just love a good like look at your butt moment. It's like one of my favorite <laughs> like verbal prompts to give my clients because it's really fun and cheeky. Um, and I just love it. So absolutely beautiful job. I did pull up a photo of mine just to show kind of like an example of how you could have placed the client in relation to the light for an alternative image. I'm not saying to like replace it, but I'm saying like work smarter, not harder. So you could have done this absolutely stunning image with the client having them holding the curtains, having their cheeky over the butt moment, um, and then coming in. And this is my favorite thing to do just tilting your client a little bit to the light because here we're getting all of like the backlit. So we're only getting light kind of like right in this little nook um, and the rest is left in shadow and mystery, which lo we love a tease, really fun. Um, I think it's really flirty. I think it's really mysterious, but then again, work smarter, not harder to create an alternative image for them to choose as well because we love to give our clients lots of choices <laughs> so that they have to buy all their photos. Um, I like to just turn the client 45 degrees so that now the light is hitting them. So now the light's coming in and it's hitting the client and painting that whole side body. And now you're getting to see like the back and like the bum a little bit. You're getting a bit a little light on the side um, and it's just creating a little bit more of like a painted look. Um, so I think those two could have gone really well together as like uh, like just like options to give your client. We love variety. So really utilizing like your client's position to the lighting to really paint them in different ways and kind of draw attention to different things. Um, you can use light to really harness and draw, harness the attention of the viewer and your client to like one specific part of the body. And I think that's really fun to play with. Like if I had turned this client 180, then the focus would have been just like on the front and the chest and the face. Um, but by flipping them around, you're harnessing the power of the light to focus on a different part of the subject. And that's just really fun to play with. Um, so just another option for like angling and changing the direction of your light but amazing job you did so good i love this photo i love a good foreground moment it's something that's really underutilized in boudoir so get that foreground baby okay on to the next one these are our last two i think so we're getting to the end um i'm really loving all of the work that you guys submitted so thank you so much i love this image your use of lighting to sculpt the client is just you clearly know a lot about light and it shows and I love it and I can nerd out about light forever. Again, this image is beautiful. You can return it to a client like no issue. Um, 
we're just getting really nitpicky because you guys are so good at this. My only suggestions for this is I love to give a little bit more breathing room for images. Um, it's a little bit of a close crop. Just for me, I don't know um, how everybody else feels about close crops, but oopsies, that was the wrong button. But for me, I feel like close crops can feel a little bit claustrophobic. So I like to give like a little bit of breathing room. Um, so I would just extend the background a little bit. And I'm just using again the content to wear fill. And again, this is really messy. So <laughs> when you do this, it won't be as messy or you'll have a little bit more time to like go in and kind of like make sure it's a nice clean edit. I'm talking too much, I need a coffee break. Um, but I'm just kind of giving you an example of how I would just kind of tweak this um, and edit it just to have a little bit more breathing room. This is the before and that's the after. So that's just giving like a little bit more breathing room. Your client has a little bit more negative space um, and then it kind of just draws the eye in a little bit more. Um, again, I really love your use of light, like especially to contour the side of the face. The light on the lip is just amazing. The light on the collarbone, on the shoulder, on the hand, it's so good. Um, again, just a moment to talk about my obsession with hands and using them to tell more of a story and to create more emotion in an image. Um, these hands, I feel like we could really use them a bit more to just have more of a story going on. So I would take this, instead of just holding the strap, I'd have them pulling the strap over so that the strap kind of like dangles off the shoulder. It's a very like, oops, my clothes are falling off, but they're not really, we know that we know this is post. Um, but I love a good like strap over the shoulder moment. I think when my clients are in the studio, straps are never on properly. Like mm -mm, we're not using your straps. Your straps are falling off. It's just so soft and so delicate and so dainty. Like, oh no, my straps. So knock it off, knock it over the shoulder. Um, and then just have the hand just holding that. So it's kind of just like creating this like little storytelling moment of like, oops. Um, and then this hand I would have instead of just touching the belly i like to my verbal prompt i like to give is just like pet up and down and then it creates a little bit more motion and a little bit of just like a softness there and you get a lot of variety so i'll take like five or six photos of like the same moment of them just like touching their like doing a little self pet um it's also a good moment for your client to like interact with their body um, and to have like a little moment with themselves so i love to encourage like a little self pet moment just give yourself a little just a little pet it's fun um again i am nitpicking because i love this image i really like the neutral background it really brings a lot of attention to your subject i love the plants we love a plant another thing i would maybe add to this image um is just like a little radial gradient just to bring a little bit more attention to your subject but again this is just like like stylistic nitpicky things that you don't need to listen to me about if you don't want to. Um, I would bring in a curve adjustment and then on the layer mask, I would bring in a gradient tool and I would just change it to radial. So you're making like a nice like vignette essentially. Um, you can do this in Lightroom and it's really great. Um, and I would just pop on that little radial mask. I would invert it so that now it's only selecting like up here, which is where your client is. And then on your curve, I would just bring that all down. And then on top, so we're going before, after. Actually, I was wrong. I wanted to do that. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Um, and there you go. So before, after, again, that's really exaggerated. I probably wouldn't do it that much. Um, or alternatively, you could do like a dodge and burn. <sighs> My lights died. So now you get me in very subpar lighting just so I can finish this video to show you guys. Gosh darn it. Anyways, um, so I just finished showing you the radial gradient, which I think looks a little bit exaggerated, but also just like a fun tool to use in the future to keep in mind. Um, when you want to draw more sub attention to your subject. And then now I've drawn up dr uh, Dodge and Burn, just as another, just like further example of kind of like ways you can really illuminate your subject. Um, and I'm going in and this is the burn tool now, so we're darkening. And I would just darken around the edges. Again, this is messy. 
it's not clean. <laughs> it's not what I would probably return a client. I would spend way more time on it. But I'm really just going in uh, and just kind of like drawing more attention to the subject. Um, and then this is your before, if my computer wants to let me. There we go. And then this is the after. So just drawing in a little bit more attention with your eye, just using kind of a little bit more dramatic lighting for that effect. Um, but again, otherwise, I'm obsessed with this image. I really love your color toning. I think it's really beautiful um, and just amazing job. Um, okay, yeah, so that is my critique of all of these absolutely stunning images um, presented to me by all of these amazing photographers. Thank you everybody who submitted. I really loved doing this video. I will love to do another one in the future. So if you guys are interested in me doing this again, please pop a comment down below so I know that you're interested. Next time I promise to charge my lights before so that they actually stay on the whole time so we don't get weird before and after lighting. Um, but I just wanted to finish the video and show you guys the rest of these amaz amazing images. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please, uh, if you're not subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you get reminded of any notifications of future videos. And I hope you guys have a beautiful and lovely day. Thank you so much for being here. Goodbye.